Hey guys, welcome back to Pops and Props. Today we're gonna go on a small Funko Pop hunt to the two closest stores that actually have Funko Pops in my area. And those two stores are both Walmarts, so let's head on over to the first one and let's get right into it. Hey guys, so we made it over to Walmart. Let's head in and see what we can find. So guys, I made it over to the Funko Pops section and to be honest, they've actually got a lot more here than they usually do. So we've got a few different things here. We've got Deadpool, we've got Steve Stamkos, some Batman, uh, Gore the God Butcher. And coming on down here, we've got some Game of Thrones. Now that's a really cool one. And then they've also gotten Darkseid, Billy Hoyle from White Man Can't Jump, and some Jurassic World. Here we've got Owen Grady. And I also noticed on the bottom, they've got some Funkoverse games. Now this is the Harry Potter one here, and they've also got the Alice in Wonderland one right over here. Now I did check, but they don't have any chases for these ones. I also noticed that they had some NECA figures. They've got gremlins here, and this one actually looks pretty solid if I can get it open. That is what it's looking like right there. And I also found a Chucky NECA figure. See if I can open this one up here. This is from Bride of Chucky. This one also looks pretty sick. Hey guys, so we made it out of the first Walmart. I found a couple of pretty cool things that I will show you guys when we get back to the studio. So now let's head on over to the second Walmart. So we made it to Walmart number two. Let's head on in. And so guys, I made it over to what looks to be their Funko Pop section and they don't have a lot. They've got the same Ned Stark, the same 10 inch Funko Pops. The only new things I am seeing are the Bo-Katan Cries and the Jackie Robinson, which actually looks really nice. They've also got some Five Nights at Freddy's plushies, which do look super nice as well. And I thought they would have more Funko Pops on this gondola over here, but I'm not seeing any. Well guys, it looks like I lied. I actually found a second Funko Pop section. I am seeing a few few similar things but one thing I thought I would point out is this Funko Shop exclusive Kramer Good Cop from Seinfeld. They've also got some Black Lightning, some Spider-Man No Way Home, Run DMC, and these things that don't sell very well. And down lower they've got some Jurassic World, more Spider-Man No Way Home, uh, the Riddler, and we saw that dark side at the other Walmart, so nothing too new. But one thing I did notice is that they do have a few of these Boo Hollow figures, which are pretty neat. I don't see these very often in Walmarts. And we did see these before. These are the Harry Potter Funkoverse games. So once again, nothing too new. So guys, we are back in the car. The second Walmart was kind of a bust compared to the first Walmart. It had a lot of the same Funko Pops as the first Walmart, so nothing too new, which was a shame. But I did find something that was worth picking up so I'll show you guys when we get back to the studio. And so guys we are back from the Funko Pop hunt. I did pick up a few things but nothing too crazy. And the first obvious thing is this cardboard Funko Pop display. Now this is actually for the Moon Knight Funko Pops. As you guys can see there on the back it has the Moon Knight logo and then in the one corner right there it has the pop logo and then coming around to the front it's also got the moon knight logo there on this side it's got the funko logo and then on the other end it's got the pop the same as the back this was definitely a sign that the walmart did have some moon knight fungal pops but clearly they all sold out and when i did find this in the store it did have maybe like two or three fungal pops in it so it just kind of secretly took them out and then grabbed the display case. To be honest, it did feel a little bit weird walking around with this, but nobody said anything. Now, the only other Funko related product I picked up today is this Pocket Pop, and this is of Beetlejuice. And when I first saw it in person, I thought it looked really clean, so I had to grab it. I don't collect too many Pocket Pops, but I thought this was a pretty good exception because it is somewhat horror related. Next up, I picked up a couple of DVDs. The first thing being Friday the 13th. Now this is actually the full movie collection. Actually let me rephrase that. This is only number one to number eight. So we are missing number nine Jason Goes to Hell and number 10 Jason X. The other DVD I picked up is E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Now I actually just re-watched this and I thought it was such a great movie so I had to pick this up on DVD. This is definitely a film that I like to visit time and time again. And buying a DVD is kind of like 
like buying a suit. If you watch the movie over three times, then you're getting your money's worth for what you paid for it. I know I didn't pick up a whole lot at Walmart today, but I did have a lot of fun going and checking out the Fungal Pop section, and it has definitely been upgraded since the last time I went. It is really nice to see that they are getting in some new Funko Pops, and overall, their whole collector section is just getting a whole lot better. Anyways, guys, these are the few things that I picked up today. And if you guys would like to see more Funko Pop hunts, please let me know because I love to get out and see what's new. As always, guys, please don't forget to do those three things, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.